to the Watts Bar Nuclear Plant in Tennessee, where a single reactor has been operating since 1996. Deep inside the plant, an army of more than 3,000 workers is completing a second reactor, which will generate power for an additional 650,000 homes. So this is the heart of the system right here. This is the reactor building, and under the reactor head is where the nuclear fission takes place. Brian Briotti is a construction manager here. The difference between nuclear power and like the fossil fuels is who's fission makes. You don't like coal burners where you burn coal or oil burners where you burn oil. The difference between a coal-fired plant and a nuclear plant is what you do to heat the water, turn it into steam, and run it back to the turbine building to turn a generator. So basically all this is just a really fancy way to boil water. It is, absolutely. It's awe-inspiring to know that just below us, a controlled nuclear reaction will heat water in the core to nearly 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And it'll keep running for months at a time, shutting down only to refuel. We're very fortunate that uh, very few people even in the industry could walk up to a reactor head and be this close without it being shielded with lead. We're the only nuclear plant in the United States that's currently under construction. In fact, this reactor will be the first one to come online in more than 15 years. In 1974, President Nixon projected that America would have a thousand nuclear plants by the beginning of the 21st century. He wasn't even close. Today, there are just 104 nuclear plants in operation. So what happened? For one thing, construction costs have skyrocketed. There's also the risk of catastrophe. An accident at a nuclear power plant. A feed water pump broke down this morning, automatically shutting down the Three Mile nuclear power plant. Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and most recently, Fukushima. They're all chilling reminders of what can happen when an accident at a nuclear plant spirals out of control, potentially leading to a dangerous release of radioactivity. No new American plants have even been ordered since 1978. Watts Bar's Unit 2 reactor is the only nuclear plant under active construction here today, finishing a job that started in 1972. This is the actual Unit 2 control room, and we'll be operating this commercial operation a little over a year. I met up with Adam Scales, the operations manager at Watts Bar, to ask him the question that's been on my mind all day. This reactor, when it comes online, is going to be the first reactor in the 21st century. Is this just the first step, or is this pretty much the end of the road? No, I see this as just a first step. We can't afford the public to lose confidence in what we do. We're very concerned that the public understands what we do, and we're not just protecting the plant, but them. Adam may seem confident, but building a new plant today is a harder sell than ever before. Besides Watts Bar, only two other plants have even broken ground. They're still years away from generating electricity, 